So Mad Max is a franchise I was really allowed to watch a lot as a kid because you know I wasn't allowed to watch random movies like a lot of kids were. When I got older, I I watched the first one, Soul Fury, Real the Dieters, and I just and I saw the others. I just I love them. They're great movies. Maybe Thunderdome's not the best. We'll have to get into that. So starting off with number f in last place is Mad Max Thunder Beyond Thunderdome. That one. Okay, look. I don't hate this movie. I don't. I just when I watch it, I just I don't feel like I'm watching a Mad Max movie. I feel like I'm watching just like. Studios just like put more fun elements into it, make it more fun, make it less gritty and dark stuff. And they were, the last one wasn't really that. Bro, I'm a road warrior wasn't really that gritty and dark, but they were trying to make it a lot more funny and stuff. And just it didn't really work for me. I definitely I like it. It's definitely in a fun um, movie, but I just I don't maybe like it maybe as much as like the others. And that's why I just I I don't know. This is the one I lost. I watched the least. I've only seen this movie like maybe four times. But, which is probably a lot compared to a lot of people, because a lot of people don't watch a lot of movies. I do. Um, uh, so, yeah. I think it's okay. Mel Gibson's performance in this is very good. And Tina Turner is fun in this, too. So, I think it's okay. Um, I don't know. I just I don't love it as much as the others. So, I'll give, uh, uh, so I'll probably give Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. I'm uh, probably about a C+. Plus. Next up is Mad Max. Mad Max is a very fun movie. It... And, like, when you watch it, it doesn't really feel like watching a post-apocalyptic movie. It feels like a movie about, and it feels like a movie about a town that's, like, being um, uh, run over by a lot of criminals and cops trying to stop them and stuff. And it feels more like a more personal story because this one, Mad Max, loses his um, uh, family and stuff, which is really hard film and stuff, really sad. But it was also it was a really good, this movie works as a very good revenge film, in my opinion. Mel Gibson's performance in this is probably one of his better ones in these movies. Um, uh, it's really good, really, gr like, it's just a really great film. That I just I highly recommend if you're like really into films like watch Mad Max it's really good. And um, uh, all the characters are fun and interesting to watch and stuff. And just building up this world. Starting out with this one is probably the best bet for the um, uh, filmmakers of George Miller and stuff for this one. So yeah, I actually I really like this movie. I think it's pretty good. So I'll probably give Mad Max um, a B plus. Next up is Mad Max: The Road Warrior. This one went more toward went more towards um, the apocalypse realm with the Mad Max franchise, where in the first one it was like oh it's just like a small town. This one's like, it's, everything's being taken over. People are fighting over water and stuff, which is insane. And um, so, yeah, I really like it. Um, uh, Mad Max is also really cool in this movie. He's definitely a little bit more gritty. And um, uh, the villain in this, Lord Humongous. Oh, man, that guy was fun to watch. <laughs> just running around with Jason Voorhees, that hockey mask on. Um, uh, just, it was fun. <laughs> it, was, it looked like Bane to me sometimes. So, yeah, this movie's just, it's a lot of fun, really cool to watch. I highly recommend it. I really like the action in this. I think it's very good, very entertaining. Maybe not as much as Fury Room, but I think this is a very good movie, and I do highly recommend it. Actually, I recommend the whole franchise if you just want to just experience real, really weird apocalyptic franchise stuff. So, in, the, in first place is Mad Max Fury Road. This is the movie I saw in theaters. The first Mad Max I ever saw. Because the other ones came out in the 80s, 90s, and stuff. And this one, the 70s. This one came out in 2015, so I was like, in the right age to see it. So when I saw this movie, I didn't know what to expect, because I saw the Chris Stuckman review, saw the Jeremy Johnson review, they were praising and stuff. And so I didn't really know what to expect, me and my little, I'm a 13-year-old mind. So when I went into this movie, I was like, whoa, that was really good. Like, that was, this movie is legitimately one of the best action movies I have seen in maybe the past decade, like, at least the 2010s. Very freaking good movie, like, I really like it. I'm a, I don't, I don't know. Um, uh, I really like um, uh, Tom Hardy's performance as Max in this movie, Mad Max. Also like um, uh, Charlize Theron's as um, uh, Furiosa, really cool. Um, uh, so yeah, it's in um, the villain, so much fun to watch. Basically as much fun as um, uh, Lord Humongous was in Road Royer. So I think this movie's very good and very great. I like how George Miller came to back to direct it. And the visuals of this movie are so stunning, like, it's so cool to watch. And you think they're like, oh, this, the visuals won't be that good because they're in the desert. No, the visuals are great. Plus there's a guy playing electric, playing an electric guitar and stuff that suits fire out of it. It's, this movie's crazy, but I love it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll give Mad Max Fury Road an A+. And I'll give Road Warrior an A+, also. So next, so tell me in the comments below how you would rank the Mad Max films. Tell me how you would rank this, how, what you guys thought of this video and stuff. And I'm, uh, I'll see you guys next time. And stay tuned for more content. See you guys next time. Thank you. And I, I've been doing these ranking videos for a little while now, and I just realized that, you know, I've been kind of getting tired of them. Well, I, there's people out there that does these things way better than me. And does, that doesn't mean I'll stop doing ranking videos, because we're going to probably pick it back up in August. But for the month of July, there will be no more rankings in July. There'll be nothing but movie reviews, mostly 2019 movies, because I want to talk about some of those I haven't talked about. 
or in my ranking videos that I haven't really done a good job talking about because I always try to rush through them. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys thought of this and tell me what you think of this decision because I'm pretty excited for it actually. So yeah, see you guys next time.